Hello and welcome back to Panzercore Grand Campaign 40 and after some very real communication issues I think now it's time to finally tackle Tunkirk and see if we can force the British Expeditionary Force to a surrender. So very much looking forward to that and let's switch to the breathing. Herr General, Sir, we still have not re-established contact with High Command, but our scouts have detected. The British Expeditionary Force has begun a general evacuation of the continent. Your senior officers have convened and they believe the best way to stop the Allies is by destroying as many evacuation units as possible. Our reports have cited numerous trains, transport ships, and even destroyers being used for this purpose. So you should consider this, these targets to be your primary objective. There are additional reports that the Dunkirk pocket itself has an extremely well defended perimeter and are thus advised to avoid direct conflict with the forces between the canals, the Fournes and Bourbourg. Lastly, only a skeptical garri skeletal garrison has been spotted defending Grand Four Philippe. So if you capture it, you will be able to turn the guns against the evacuation vessels in range. Any naval and air units have been diverted to assist your forces to this end, but they will not arrive for at least several hours. Victory here will stand hundreds of will strand hundreds of thousands of Allied troops on the continent and force them to surrender to you. Good luck, sir. Yeah. So, let's see. Yeah, hi, Tringilli. That's the problem. German internet was down. So, yeah, no way I could receive any reports here. Once again, no SE unit. So, uh, I'm not sure I even got the single SE unit in Grand Campaign 40, but we will have to do with that. With what we have, no support from headquarter, but we don't need any. So let's take a look at our resources here. We have 10,600 prestige. I think that's not too shabby. Our loss is last time. Let's check actually. First infantry unit is at strength 8. I think we will just invest the 17 prestige here. Here we can do with normal replacements. The good thing is, and hi Thumper, well. What time? What time in reality? For you? For me? For me it's 9 o'clock in the morning, so it's... Okay. <laughs> for you it might be... Quite... In the middle of the night? I don't really know where you're from. So... All a deer. He can do with normal replacements. What I was about to say, the good thing is the the good thing is the experience of our units now is really high, so most of the time I think we will be able to afford normal replacements because we are nearing three stars for many of them. So here we are at 230 I think I want to preserve that so let's spend 35 prestige here the pioneer normal replacements Gebirgsjäger let's see it's close but I think we will just save the 26 prestige here let's be greedy it's close but we will go back to two stars very quickly. So for now it has not been very expensive. This tank definitely needs 
elite replacements, the 30, 80, 30, 83 prestige. That's costly, but I think that was the most damaged unit. The Panzer IV is in pristine condition. Next tank as well. The Scout, normal replacements all the way. And the tank cannon, yeah, we can do with normal replacements. That's no problem. You will invest. Ah, that's the most expensive one. 84. Artillery didn't take any damage at all. Yeah, good morning. Hey, Goose. 3 o'clock. 1 a.m. <laughs> that's crazy. Ah, good idea. Um, I have to get a piece of paper to keep track of how many units I kill here. One moment. So slight rearrangement in the division headquarter. High tech going on. So now I need to rearrange my coffee, but let's get back to our units 88. Normal replacements. The fighters are fine. He's already at three stars, so normal replacements. And yeah, Helmut Land got hit quite badly, but we will give him normal replacements and maybe overthranks, but I'm not even sure if that we are going to use him. I will think about that later and the level bombers. I think that was the best idea to use them very aggressively and give them normal replacements every single time because yeah it, it's simply a waste they are generating so much experience i think that's the best way to do it so now let's take a look at the map i'm not f absolutely not familiar of course with this map but i didn't look at it a lot so far so the channels, that's one of them. Okay, and that's the other one. So I think we can take out the victory locations that are to the front here. And there's a rail connection in the back, so if we can secure the rail connection, that will be a huge win because then we can shift units between the two fronts. That's honestly a little bit of a problem here because our two battle groups or Kampfgruppen that go into this are separated. So my first goal will be to reconnect them and take out the center. And by the way, um, new microphones, I'm still not about experimenting a little bit with the sound levels so if it's too loud or, or not loud enough please yeah leave a comment in the chat or below the video so now deployment let's see i first want to get down my air force so historically the air force tried to do it here but wasn't very successful so we'll bring definitely all of our fighters because the Royal Air Force um, before, because the Royal Air Force really showed up here in mass. Then we will put down our Stuka. Definitely we'll use level bombers here just to bombard the hell out of their cruisers or destroyers. Helmut Land, I will think about him. Next, we will put down our artillery. 
I think the biggest thing I want towards the fortress. Just like that. Then I want to focus to whittle them down in the middle first. Just to get the reconnection going here. So, I recommend using mostly your core units and using aux units just to lure the enemy. Yeah, I don't have any auxiliary units here. That's what's goosing in the chat. Maybe they will show up later. We'll see. So, then, tanks. Panzer 4. Maybe it's a mistake. I don't know. Maybe I'm over focusing on the center here. But we will see. I can always. Like, the plan is like this the Panzer 3 can go over this bridge. Once that's secure, we can use the road to get back to the main front line. Same here, but I don't think we will be going through these fortifications. They seem to be part of the perimeter already. But... Yeah, should work out. Let's see. Scout. I want to have information on the fortress. Especially what's in the back and what the fortress actually is. I want that scouted out. Airfields are kind of everywhere, so let's put down an 88. My two weaker tanks. Somewhere to the front, let's see, all the deer. He will get over strengths. And I think now ah, let's give him more over strengths. For him it's really cheap the over strengths, so because he doesn't have a truck. We'll send him forward into the swamp. Let's see what Okay, now I did something wrong. I did give the Earth ranks to a different unit, so that was kind of a waste. Maybe we will need it. Let's see. Then tenth Panzer Division, more infantry. Obviously, we want infantry to go up here. We want infantry in this pocket. Pioneer. Definitely towards the fortress. So we have two infantry on this side. One, two, three infantry units. Let's put another one down here. So, we still have three units to put down. Let's see. Obviously, the Panzerjäger. Let's give them more support on this side. And... Anti-tank cannon. Well, the Panzer II technically is part of my division as well. But I think this will be maybe a rather slow fight, so anti-tank cannons will be great. I will put him down. There will be evacuation trains. Maybe we can shoot at something. So, one more unit. Let's see. It's either Helmut Land or Panzer II. But... I think the Panzer II has not seen much action. Oh, 
let's give him a go. So, that's it for the deployment and strategy we will see. Well, let's go into it. Nothing more to talk about. We'll try to poke them and try to hit them. So, let's see, we see absolutely nothing, or almost nothing, that's always promising. We have a submarine here. And there's already evacuation transport inside. But for now we need information, we desperately need information. So, British infantry is not so easy to take out. I will think about that. My first interest is this pocket in the center. Let's take a look. Let's move forward. This is only light cavalry, so that's not a real issue. Scout them out and... Yeah, doesn't seem too bad at the moment. There's French infantry. That's much easier to take out. The British are a lot tougher, obviously. So that's a job for the Panzer IV, maybe. Let's take a look. From the other direction. That could be a job for the Panzer III. But for now, this is really an information gathering process. Yeah, tricky. I just have to consider all my options. There will be anti-aircraft cannons right here. So for now this tank seems to be safe, at least from any air attacks. And I already have to think about fighter traps. But that don't seem to, doesn't seem to be much in the way, so... Maybe... A good idea is to once again start to aggressively use my level bombers. He doesn't withdraw, that's actually good. I wanted him to withdraw to the swamp just to build up a fighter trap here, but that didn't work out. But at least this will draw the anti-aircraft cannon out of the out of hiding here. That's always good. So let's try to use the level bombers here and Okay, now we have information. He needs to go. Because now I am pretty much safe. These are cruisers Mark 1, Mark 4. 
He, the Daimler Dingo, can scout me, but only all the deer. So we are pretty safe around this area. And the first turns always are a little bit slow because I need to gather information. And it might actually... Now nah, let's lose the use the Panzer IV. Just to make sure... We have a defensive line going, but... That might not have been the smarter thing. I should have done it the other way around. There could be heavy tank forces in the back, so I'm... a little bit worried. What still might lurk in the background. That doesn't seem to be too bad. We could kill it off. And I'm not sure if those transports will be moving or not. We'll see. So, anti-tank cannon. Not really something we can do about it. And now fighter traps. Well, in the first turns I always have to get a feel for the map, see how much armor is around, so a lot of thinking goes into this process. So, yeah, use is right. This is a perfect fighter trap to start it off. We'll put the 88 behind. We might even be able to do a double layer trap. But we want to do a lot here, actually. Let's see. This is a perfect trap opportunity as well. So we'll use that. This time it worked. Push him back and this builds up an ideal fighter position automatically. Then we'll visibly protect those. And the cavalry is spotting everything. So let's make sure we are protected. So, Stuka for now. I don't think it's wise to go out and attack something. So we'll keep it back for the moment. And the Panzer II will leave in the background. No use in exposing it, so... Nothing we can hit at the moment. I think we, we have enough time, so let's not hurry it. That's it. Yeah. First turn was a long enough, sorry. But I am very suspicious about this map and I don't want to make any stupid mistakes. Yeah, a lot of movement. We see a char B. Valiant fight. Uh, 
and they are hyper aggressive. So good to know. Now we have information. So let's see. That has not been too bad. And I should have brought Helmut Land, I guess. Because now there are too many targets, I don't know what to shoot down first. At least we can get going with the evacuation transports. Well, all the deer failed. And we might want to force him down. The Zamur is quite a big issue here. And I want to be able to reach the anti-aircraft cannon. So I think the obvious choice is getting rid of this Hotchkiss. But I don't want to expose myself to the Charpy. He can go four hexes. But he won't be able to go through the swamp, I think. So then we want to get rid of the scout. will form a defensive position. And now I have all the information I need around here. So I think I will get the scout out of here. Force the French infantry back again. So now this is kind of a trap. We'll see how this works out, but now it's a little bit problematic here with the hurricane because the anti-aircraft cannon kind of makes it impossible to attack it. So I think I want to try and lure it again. And are there any AUX units, Goose? Hey, you're using AUX units? There are no auxiliary units for me. Just a submarine. So... Does not matter. So, this is good. There's still nothing that has vision on me, so we can go forward a little bit. And I think that's too much infantry on this side. But I can't go... I can't go through here, but the Matilda is not that threatening. I really want to get my 
anti-tank unit in position. I don't know if they... Though they can't... I don't think they can go in here. Only three movement. So we'll just sit it out here. I don't have the power to attack into them at the moment. Yeah, it, it's tricky actually. Trickier than expected. That, that's a tank down. Gets me out of vision range again. We'll maybe can lure him with the auxiliary bomber. Let's see. But for that to happen... Well... I need to do more damage. But the rolls are atrocious. <laughs> Not much we can do like this. But the Samoa is dead. He is not in vision range anymore. So that's good. I think I have to withdraw here. Yeah? Because he is very exposed without artillery support and I can't, can't go into the swamp here. Well, well. Um, We kind of need to do damage. Let's see. Fortunately, I did so much damage. So we don't need protection around. Yeah, we need to protect the Hanchel actually. I don't have enough fighters. That's problematic. So we will protect here. We need to protect here. So we will stay as is. This is a perfect trap. So we'll do it like that. And we have to stay here. And he will just reinforce nothing I can do about it. So that was absolutely suboptimal. But can't be helped. Because going forward here doesn't seem to be like a good idea. Maybe I shouldn't have pushed him back, but doesn't matter. He was at full strength anyway. He will be at full strength afterwards. Let's see. And I think I will need my level bombers out there.
but it was definitely less than ideal. And now we have cloudy weather. Great. So maybe attacking the char B is not the smartest idea here. But that's not going well. Definitely not going well. And I'm taking so much damage here, at least. Now that's a hero. So... Nope, that's not what I want to do. Now we need to take out the anti-aircraft cannon. And we need to take out this char B. Let's try to find them. Okay, no. So, but he should be down. Let's see. He should get pushed into the swamp. Well, if we do damage to him, that's... not the way to do it but at least now he's boxed in and can't do much I will bring out my artillery here so let's hope at least the anti-aircraft cannon gets finished that's done now I can finally deal with this Spitfire Ah, uh, Hurricane, not Spitfire. That's done. Now, what's the next important target? I think it's the Char B. That's done. So we're taking a lot of damage. But at least we are kind of okay now. And we did not destroy a single evacuation thing for now. Ah, uh, more infantry. So I think I have to get in here. This cavalry is absolutely making things.
difficult for me. So now we are in. We will take a hit here, but I need to stabilize this front. And we can go forward. Keep ourselves protected. Just like that. Yeah, this hit was not good enough. Oladir on his own is kind of helpless here. So we will give up on this front for the moment. Let's see. This might trap something. This should get us out of vision range and more information. And in case to do more counter attacks, well. now let's go back out of vision range I can't protect it yeah that's it not much more I can do And yeah, we might totally fail here. Our Air Force is already kind of out of it. We can't shoot down the Spitfire. Ah, but now we have a ton of auxiliary units. Okay, that's helping. Let's see. Ah, that's not easy. He needs to die somehow. But he's completely out of range. Now our Artillery is exposed, so that's not ideal. But somehow I'm not able to do enough damage. Yeah, and you, Goose, you're right, we might need to buy replacements for our level bombers.
But I'm not there yet. I'm not prepared to give up. So that's good. This will solidify my defense here. Grab the target. Send the Stuka to do no damage at all. At least make it harder for him to hit something. He might be tempted to go for the truck. But I really can't do much here. I will... Maybe he will try to get the victory location. I'm not sure. We'll see about that. Um, one moment. Slight hiccup in the internet connection, but it seems to stabilize again. So that's good enough. So let's see here. Let's get out of here. We know there's a Spitfire around, so we have to be careful. That's one infantry unit gone. We can't kill him off at the moment because we are out of range but there are tanks everywhere that's not what I expected here so we'll Stay as is for the moment and hope to hope to hold out here. Then we have to refuel, protect ourselves. And refuel. Nothing else I can do. Maybe get in range to finish him off next turn. Hi, Danny. So, that's it. That's my core forces. Now let's take a look. I do. I hope they've not been here for a very long time. But let's get some idea what we are facing here.
first target. And maybe we can whittle down one of them at least. But doesn't look like it. And I think I want to bring those back to safety for now. <coughs> Sorry. So. Yep. We'll leave it as is. Ah, that wasn't too bad. Oh, and there's even a light cruiser here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hi, dear Sierra. Well, I'm kind of whittling them down, but I didn't take out a single one of the evacuation transports for now. That's problematic. And they keep showing up more and more units. So, the scout has to die. That's a success. Not that it really matters, but it's better than nothing. So, that's done. Done. I hope we can finally get rid of... This Matilda. Yeah, not really, but... This is really giving me trouble. Artillery gone. So I think... Yeah. We are breaking through. It, it, it should be fine. N no problem. Damn. That's another Hotchkiss we have to take care of. Let's force it into the forest and hopefully take it out. That's done. Then we'll move forward to block. And not do damage at all. But that's fine. Um, and there are still more forces, but... We can deal with them later. Yeah, defense plus one hero, not great. But at least he didn't move back, so he's boxed in. But still, he is giving them vision, but that's not an issue because there are strong points all the way. So, Matilda still very much alive. This evacuation transport hopefully will be something we can kill later. We'll resupply. We know there's still a Hotchkiss somewhere and uh, a cruiser somewhere in here.
but all the deer should be relatively fine. There's another Spitfire, great. So nothing we can do here. Maybe this will invite an attack. I want to draw their air force in so that I can deal with it. But their forces here seem to fizzle out. Um, I think we are getting them down. So... Is it worth it? I don't think so. I think I will focus on drawing the air force in so that I can absolutely destroy it. But for now, let's reshuffle our defenses. Make sure our tanks are protected. I don't want to invite any attacks here and there might be fortresses around. Uh, that's good. So I think we are not in a desperate situation. Tank here, I think we'll hold back for now. He's already a little bit too weak. He has a movement range of four, one, two, three, four. Yeah, he can totally go in here, so not exposing my infantry. I think here I will just move a little bit forward. To provide a safe zone. Where I can move forward. Yeah, and hurting the Spitfire here, we need mass attack bonus for that. So I think I will keep refuel, there's nothing else I have to defend at the moment, I think. So let's keep it that way and then I think it's time for a first break. So not so successful start. We did take a lot of damage. 
but a lot of bad roles were involved in that. And yeah, the the notepad or the scratch pad was completely useless for now. We didn't need it because we didn't destroy a single of the evacuation units yet. But we gained a lot of ground. So I think we'll we'll find them soon. And once our air force is ready again, I think we can wreak havoc on them at the seas. We can deal with some of those transports. We need to take out 17. I hope we at least get six. So we'll see. Um Should we defend our level bombers here? I really want them to attack here, but they will attack on this side, I think. Let's let's keep them. Let's end the turn. And at least they are weakening themselves. Here we go. That wasn't too bad. At least one Spitfire is now in firing range, not in firing range of my 88, unfortunately, but um, but at now at least we. We have the ability to kill off some of their ships and cruisers, destroyers. Those are evacuation destroyers, so that's good. Some of their tanks are now in range to get absolutely demolished. That's good as well. We'll grab supply and then we'll make a break. So, see ya! I think we are going to make it, but this will be extremely tough. But I will be back in a few minutes. Thanks for watching. Yeah, we'll take them out. The British Expedition, Expedition Air Force is doomed for sure. So, see ya. Bye.